So tell me, are you into cream foundations? Because I am. So this time around, I'm trying again the Patrick Ta foundation. So let's make sure that our base is matte, especially when you use cream foundations. I finally got my hands on the Urban Decay Big Brush Brow. And since I bleached my brows, I thought it would show up a little bit more, but not necessarily, but it does look good. An oldie book goodie concealer by Milk Makeup, and I honestly forgot that I had it for the longest, so today I'm using it. Finally, a pencil by Fenty Beauty in the shade red, and I will say it is true to color, and it does what it has to do for the most part. And then I'm actually underpainting this time around and then adding the foundation around my concealer. If you're looking for full coverage, this is definitely not going to give you that, but it will give you a beautiful finish that is medium to light. I will say it does look like skin. Like, just look at it. Beautiful, right? So here's the contour slash bronzer palette and she's chiseled. And I haven't used this in a minute, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Alongside is blush by She's Baked. That's like my favorite blush from his palette, honestly. And I would buy more of the palettes if it was catered to dark skin girls. So one thing I've been changing up my makeup routine is just making sure that I set my contour or bronzer first and then making sure I set my blush and then make sure that I set my under up that makes my blush and my under eye look absolutely seamless. And last but not least, what's really great about this foundation that it comes with its own powder just to set your foundation. Can't forget a highlighter, of course, Sun Idol by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I got myself a new lippy as well in the shade Novu, or in other words, new. A beautiful look with amazing products. So you guys ready for part two?